Chris, it's good to have you with us on the phone. Can you tell us what the latest is where you are, what you're seeing, what you're hearing on the ground? Actually, yes. Well, uh, as with uh, the numbers uh, involved, it's been a, a relatively uh, confusing uh, situation. In front of me on the boulevard de Richard Lenoir, which is uh, just in front of the uh, Rue Nicolas Appel, where those uh, former uh, Charlie Hebdo HQ offices are situated, well, police have been pushing people back uh, for the uh, last hour or so. A fairly wide uh, security cordon has been uh, established. There are members of police uh, and even the army's uh, Vichy Pirates uh, and terrorism case uh, involved in that. Uh, there are obviously uh, there are uh, there are residents of this uh, arrondissement who are being uh, allowed back into their houses. But apart from that, it is uh, a bit of a, a lockdown situation, uh, as you said, for several hundred metres uh, around uh, the site uh, of those of those offices. We've had local authorities, including the mayors of uh, uh, surrounding arrondissements, uh, pointing out that. Uh, access to the uh, the area is heavily restricted at the moment, and that various uh, public services, schools, creches, old people's homes, etc., have effectively been uh, placed uh, on lockdown. And until the situation becomes uh, a little bit clearer, uh, the uh, message from the, uh, the authority of the Paris police officers to, uh, as you understand, avoid the area. Avoid the area, you say, but police are still having to push people back, and that's the question. Earlier we heard from Emmanuel Crecroix, the deputy mayor of Paris, saying, do try and avoid this area. Presumably there are some people around you. What's being said on the streets, Chris? So, well, obviously there's a lot of uh, confusion. There's certainly no, no sense of uh, panic. There are still people who live around here uh, going about their daily business as best they can. In terms of where exactly uh, this uh, is situated, or well, uh, Paris, of course, uh, five years or so ago, uh, went through a very dark year in terms uh, of uh, terrorist attacks. First of all, in January 2015, at uh, Charlie Hebdo and later uh, on a kosher supermarket uh, not so far away in Paris. At the end of that year was, of course, the uh, attack on the uh, Bataclan Theatre. All of these are very much uh, in the same uh, neighbourhood. It's a kind of, uh, I guess you'd call it a, a sort of a bohemian, a bourgeois bohemian neighbourhood uh, in the east of the, the uh, centre of Paris. And residents there obviously uh, lived through uh, a nightmare year. So obviously... Uh, things like this bring back uh, those memories. It wasn't just those, those big terrorist attacks that we saw. In the wake of those, um, those attacks, France declared a state of emergency, deployed troops uh, onto the streets, and there were numerous uh, attacks by uh, groups of uh, so-called lone wolves, uh, people acting alone or people acting in small groups on security services, uh, on members of the army, uh, etc. Uh, things had calmed down a little on that front uh, in recent years. Uh, but obviously, as you've been hearing uh, from Mark there, uh, these issues have been brought back uh, into focus, uh, perhaps by uh, the anniversary of the Charlie Hebdo attack and above all, uh, that trial that's been taking place.